So let's let's try this one, guys, together. So we just did uh, beryllium hydride, right? Let's do a different molecule. Let's do carbon dioxide. Okay. So some of you have already done carbon dioxide. Um, what do we know about carbon and oxygen? So what do we know about carbon specifically? How many bonds does it like Four. to have? Four. And how many bonds does oxygen Six. like to have? Bonds. Does oxygen like to have? Two. 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 Right? Two. Okay, so what do you how do you think this molecule is double arranged? Bond. Double bond. Double. There's two double bonds. So the carbon's in the middle, right? Yeah, double bond. Double bond to an oxygen, double bond to an oxygen, like and that. Two right? lone pairs on each. And there's two lone pairs on each of those oxygens. Okay? So remember, valence shell electron pair repulsion theory, right? So if we've got these electron pairs, or these bonds, right? They want to be as far apart from each other as possible. Remember, here, we've got the same thing happening. Here, what did we say the bond angle was? 180, right? Why? Because we've got two bonds, and they want to be as far away from each other as possible. What about here? What's, what do you think the bond angle is here? 180 as well, right? Why? Because these double bonds act as one whole bond. Okay. Um, so, what is the molecular geometry around that carbon atom? Linear is the molecular geometry. What about the electron pair geometry? The electron geometry. How are the electrons arranged around that thing? Linear. Linearly, right? They're the same, right? Aren't they the same yeah. as the bonds? What about here? Are the electrons arranged linearly? No. What are the, what's the electron arrangement around the oxygen? Planar. Trigonal planar. Trigonal planar around the oxygen. So that's the electron geometry, right? What about the, could you do the molecular geometry around the oxygen? You can't do it, because you've got to do a bond to a bond, okay? There's no second bond. But you can do the electronic. So the electronic around the oxygen is trigonal planar. You can do both the electronic and the molecular around the carbon, right? Why? Because you can do an angle from electron to electron, if you want to call that an angle, and bonds to bonds, or whatever, okay? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So, notice the difference between this and this. So if we wanted to say, okay, let's write this one out. Number of electron pairs for beryllium hydride. Let's write these two out, we'll compare them. So what's the number of electron pairs for beryllium hydride? You can look over that. Two. Two, right? And the electron pairs for carbon dioxide? Four, four right? Yes. Even though there's two double bonds, each bond, double bond consists of four, or four electrons each, right? So you can already see there's a difference, right? So what about the bonding pairs? How many are here? Bonding pairs. Two. Two, right? And of course, then we're talking about around the carbon here. The carbon dioxide. What about bonding pairs around the carbon and carbon dioxide? All four of them, right? How'd you figure that out? You could look at the number of bonds, or you could see that there's zero lone pairs, right? How many lone pairs are here in beryllium hydrogen? Zero. What about in carbon dioxide? Zero. How many? We're looking around the carbon, remember. Okay. We can do this for the oxygen if you want to. Let's do it for the oxygen in a second. Okay. So this will be the carbon dioxide carbon. Okay. How many? Oh, what was this? The electronic structure, right? What's the electronic structure for beryllium hydride? Linear. And around the carbon, what is it? Linear. 
What about the molecular? Linear for beryllium hydride. And what about for the linear? Okay, so since you guys wanted to do it for the oxygen, let's do it for the oxygen too. So, how many um, electron pairs do we have around that oxygen? Four, right? Four, do you guys see that? Four. One, two, three, four, right? How many of those are bonding pairs? Two. How many are lone pairs? Two, right? What's the electronic geometry around that oxygen? Trigonal planar. And the molecular geometry? Yeah, You can't do it because you've got to do angle to angle. Okay? Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So you should be able to do these things. If you see, you should be able to see patterns, right? Four, four, zero, that's almost car definitely carbon. You know what I'm saying? Four, two, two, that's oxygen. You know? It's four, three, one, that's nitrogen. 220, that's beryllium. 330, that's boron. Okay? And you can see the pattern on the periodic table, hopefully. Okay? Can I kill this one? <laughs>